This video we're going to uh, do a leak repair on a house in Scottsdale. The area that we're looking at here is approximately 100 square feet. It was caused by a roof jack that was not properly uh, properly installed. The flashing was bent a little bit, which allowed the water to get under the tile onto the underlayment. Um, this is going to be a video where we show you how we take up the tile, replace the underlayment, and put it all back together. The main cause of this leak was this flashing right here. It looks good on the outside, but if you look underneath it, you notice that the water, instead of going up and onto the tile like so, it's actually headed back underneath. So we're gonna go ahead and pull off the tile in this general area, and uh, then we'll start to see what is involved with this. We can now see the underlayment here. Um, this right here is a real good indication that you've got way more water on the roof than you really want. Over here to the right, you'll see those standings. That's pretty indicative of what a normal roof should like, look like. But if you look at this area right here, all of these streaks are indicative of much more water than should be getting underneath. Basically water running down instead of just slightly coming through. You notice it's not above. This particular instance was caused by this flashing not being properly installed or not being able to do the job that it was designed to do and letting the water underneath. Kind of the same problem that we have here. This is where we believe the leak to be at. You can see that there's a lot more water, there's a lot more staining. Once you get up here you can actually see some of this wood's actually falling apart. As we come down all of this wood is not in good condition. Now we can see we have taken all the paper off in this area just to, you see we found the leak over here but we wanted to make sure, seeing as that jack over there had a possibility of uh, leaking also. Here we can see one of the main problems that we're dealing with. Uh, jack on the right is one of the original ones that was there. <clears throat> if you notice, it is significantly smaller than the new ones that we're using now. It's made out of lead which is a lot more expensive than the aluminum ones. Also, a lead jack will, you can actually tear a lead jack, whereas an aluminum one, while it's harder to bend, it is a little harder to work with, but once installed, it'll last a lot longer. You also notice there's a slight bubble here, this right here, so that it'll slide down onto the tile better, and it won't have this particular um, seam that if you notice on this side, it's already breaking out so I can turn it a little bit better. You can see where that lead actually separates if you turn it. So these jacks are much sturdier. They last a lot longer. They're bigger. And the only disadvantage is when you put them on sometimes they won't sit quite as nice as these ones will because of the rigidity of the aluminum versus the pliability of the lead. Now we've gone ahead and finished out the, the dry-in phase. All the paper is new. We've got uh, the one side sealed. We've got the battens boards nailed down. We have the jacks installed. If you look at them here, they've all got a, a paper collar, a modified SBS 40 pound paper collar. Um, there's tar underneath the metal jacks. And then there is, they go on top of the paper, then the, uh, the additional collar that comes all the way up to the next row of paper, which you'll see there and also here. Um, they've all been redone. All said and done, it looks just like it did before, except that it has new underlayment and uh, new pipe flashing, new vent flashing. Uh, we did have to replace two tile. You can barely see them there in the shadows. And, uh, this will now have a five-year warranty on these areas that we have repaired. 